Well, how do you know there is no God, uh, Ed? Well, I don't know that there is no God. I just don't have any belief that there is any God. I haven't seen any good evidence to believe that there is one. Of course, Does that I mean you're agnostic more than atheist, no, and uh, well, should you be given pre drilling? I happen to be both an atheist and an agnostic. An atheist is simply someone who doesn't have any belief in any of this God stuff. I, the concept or various concepts of gods, including Mr. Cumberts, don't make any sense. They don't hold together. Uh, you know, he believes in a in an all perfect and wonderful God, and yet he sees a tsunami that kills two hundred fifty thousand people. That is not true. And he true. says that's a natural phenomenon. Ed, I mean, Ed. this is this is a man who claims to be basing uh, his beliefs and his concepts on evidence, and yet he ignores most of the evidence that's available. All right, uh, Ray, you want to respond? Go yeah, ahead. Alan, let me just say I'm a believer in evolution. There's a Big Bang. There's primitive life forms, and they over millions of years become the first dog with ears and eyes and teeth and legs. The eyes haven't evolved for millions of years, but now he can see, and fortunately can see, because he's looking for a female, because if he doesn't find a female, he's a dead dog. You have to translate that into giraffes, elephants, horses, cows. Yeah. But it would be... Everything has to have a male and a female, or it can't survive. Evolution is just crazy. It makes no sense. Which came Evolution first? is crazy? Absolutely. Why, why is evolution crazy? It's unscientific. It doesn't have any scientific basis whatsoever. Evolution is... And but, but belief in God is a scientific basis? Evolutionists have done to science... But, belief in, but wait a minute, uh, Ray. Belief in God is faith. That's Ellen, not science. That's Ellen, faith. Faith in science. No, but, I, I mean, you, but I'm trying to hold you to your same your standard you profess, which is if you're going to say, well, evolution's got no scientific proof, faith, belief in God, isn't scientifically proven. That's Ellen, why it's called faith, not science. You let Hannity finish it. Hold, hold on. Let, 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 go ahead, Ray. Respond. I'm just respond to what I just said. Scientists, uh, evolution has done to science what hypocrisy has done to religion. They have no credibility. They hide behind a science when it's actually pseudoscience. I took a camera crew to Paris to yep. the Evolution Museum to see if I could find all these millions of fossils. There isn't fossils. They're God's fossils. There's no fossils uh, that back up evolution. But Ray, you're not whatsoever. answering my question. What's your question? My question is, you're, you're holding up science as as the be-all, end-all. I mean, you're saying this, uh, you, evolution can't be proven by silence. science. rather. Neither can faith. Yes, faith can't be proven by it. That's why it's called faith. It's no, not science. Hang on a minute, Ellen. We're talking about difference between an intellectual belief and a trust. When you come to God, you've got to have a trust. That's different. Yeah, that's faith. It's not belief. science. Now, here's science means knowledge. Let me give you proof God exists. There's never been a building that didn't have a builder. There's never been a painting that didn't have a painter. Never Cre- been a God that didn't creation have a creator. Creation proves there's a creator. <laughs> never you can't been have a God creation without a creator. A creator. All right, now, now you let, let uh, your co-guest speak here for a minute. Let Ed speak. Uh, Ed, Ed, go ahead. There's never been a God that didn't have a creator, including, of course, Mr. Comforts. And the creator is man. We are, we're very good at creating gods. Uh, we know how to do that, and we do it quite well. We've That's done true. It, we've done it for many, many thousands Absolutely. of years and thousands of generations. But that doesn't mean that there is actually a god. It means we're imaginative creatures and pretty good at it. How do you, if, you really want to, if you really want to hear about biology and evolution, you should come to Atlanta in April to the American Atheist Conference and hear Richard Dawkins speak. He's uh, probably the best-known expert in the world on these Yeah, things. we've had him on the show as well. But let me ask you this. Uh, evolution, you, you say, Ed, is scientifically proven? No, proven is probably not the right word. It's an extremely effective scientific theory. There are no rival theories that are taken seriously by any scientist anywhere. Tell me what evolution means, because people toss the word around, and then not everybody has the same definition of it. Well, that's true. In the popular parlance, not everybody has the same definition of it. And in fact, uh, evolutionary biologists uh, don't use uh, exactly. So, what do you mean when you say evolution? Evolutionary biologists don't use the same uh, term in exactly the same way that Charles Darwin did 150 years ago in The Origin of Species. But his basic ideas have held up quite well, and that is to to explain why we have the development of life in the way it has developed. Uh, Charles Darwin's theory did not and does not pretend to provide uh, a theory for why life started to start with. That doesn't mean you have to believe that God... But what, well, tell me, in your interpretation, it's, what that it's, theory is. It's, it's a theory that uh, uh, the change in life forms over many, many thousands, millions of generations leads to the development of different species and variation, uh, that competition uh, within a particular ecolo- ecological niche or environment 
leads to changes and leads to development and that there's of eyes adaptation and that of takes sexual yeah. uh, behavior and of all the right. other things which we find so wonderful. Right. Life right. is incredibly complex. If you really want to understand evolution, you need to go to the National Center for Science Education or to yeah. www.atheist.org or lots of other places. Hey, Ray, let me, let me ask Ray away. Ray, do you, do you concur with uh, what Ed said about evolution, that there is adaptation that takes place over millions, perhaps, of, of generations? Of course he does. He's a rational man. <laughs> a, what do you say, there, Ray? There is no evidence for species to species <laughs> transition in the trans, transitional forms. You of don't think species way. adapt as time goes of on? Of course, you get frogs and cats and everything adapts. We adapt, obviously. Like, yeah. Alan, all you have to do is go to pull the plug on atheism dot com, and you will see proof that uh, the evolution has no science. This is like battling space. website plugs. Yeah, well, well <laughs> he gives one, I give one. Listen, well, I would suggest there are many, many the different, blood, there are many the different websites to go to. Yeah, all right, let's not get bugged down. Around. All right, Ray, go ahead. Which came yeah. first, the blood, the blood vessels, or the heart? If the heart came first, why did it evolve without blood? If the blood vessels came, why did it evolve? Why did they evolve when there was no blood? Or how did the blood get around when there's no blood vessels? I think the, the best explanation is a banana. Yeah, that's very clever. <laughs> uh, Ray, how old is the Earth? I have no idea. It doesn't have a tag on it. You think it's like a couple of thousand years I old? I have no idea. How would I know that, Alan? Well, I just wonder if you think the Earth began like two or three thousand years no, ago. No, definitely not. I have no it's idea what the Earth has I ideas do know. about other things he doesn't understand. What's that? He has lots of ideas about other things he doesn't understand. Well, aren't we all like he, that? He seems to think that atheists, for example, hate God, when in fact there's no God to hate, which makes no sense at all. Well, they believe there's no God to hate. 